everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a dog sweater. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making a dog sweater, an extra small dog sweater. You are going to need some scrap yarn. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, and a darning needle. And let's get started. First of all, I want to do a shout out to All About Her Beauty Bar. They did my nails and I absolutely love them. So shout out to them. They are in Williams Lake, BC, Canada. And they do a wonderful job. This was done by Riley. Thanks Riley, love my nails. Okay, so let's get started with this dog sweater. We are gonna start by chaining 40. Now this hook I'm using is a 5.5 millimeter hook, but if you want this sweater smaller, I have used worsted weight yarn with as small as a 4.5 hook and still had the sweater turn out nicely. So by all means, you can change your hook size and still use the same kind of yarn. Um, or else you can watch some of my other videos where we actually decrease the yarn size, the needle size, or even the number of stitches. Increase or decrease the number of stitches. So right now I'm at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, so we are going to catch our tail. Okay, so I'm just going to go in that top notch there. I'm going to slip stitch. And I'm going to chain up two. Okay. Now we're going to do half double crochets all the way around. Okay. So we're going to end up with 40 stitches. One. Two. So a half double crochet is yarn over through the loop. Grab your yarn, pull through and go through all three loops on your crochet hook. And that's a half double crochet. And you're gonna do 40 of these all the way around. And when you're finished, catch back up, because I'm gonna pause here. Okay, so we did our 40 half double crochets all the way around. Now we're gonna change color. So, I have this. I'm going to go into that second chain on my chain two up. Okay. I'm going to take my other color and this, this dog sweater is going to have lots of colors. So my other color, I'm going to slip stitch, chain up two. And now with this one, we can cut our yellow. And I'm going to give it a little knot. And the knot will be fine. The dog won't even feel it because of their nice fur. And even if they're a short-haired dog, they won't feel the knot. As long as you hide it nice and neat. Okay, so now with our new color, we're doing half double crochets. But we're only going in that back loop, okay? So... See, that front loop was not worked. I'll do a couple more. Yes. 
see the front loop is not worked. Now we're going to do 40 of these. Oops. We're going to do 40 of these all the way around and then we'll meet back up. And then on the third row we're going to start changing up this pattern. But make sure you're only grabbing those back loops, okay? So do your 40 and meet back up. Okay, so I did my 40 here, and now we are going to do our slip stitch into that second chain of the chain two from the beginning, and we're gonna attach our new color of yarn. Now here's where the magic starts to happen. Okay, so tighten your stuff. We'll cut the orange. We'll do a little knot. Okay. So now we are going to do four half double crochets. One, and we're only going in the back loops. Two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to set ourselves up for a triple crochet. So go around your hook twice. We're going to go in that. So for our fifth stitch here, instead we're going to go to the previous row and we're going to pick up that front loop, yarn over, go through, go through two, go through two, go through two. Then we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to go in the back loop for four more half double crochets, okay? So one, two, three, four. Okay, yarn over twice. We're going to skip that and we're going to go down to the next row and go into the loop we skipped. Go through two, go through two, go through two. Then we're going to skip that one and do a half double crochet in the back loop only four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, so see what we're doing so far? Isn't that interesting? Okay, so yarn over your hook twice. We're going down to the row that we did before. We're grabbing our yarn. We're going through two, two, and two. Then we're skipping that one and we're doing a half double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. In the back loops only, right? And here's what we're getting. Okay, so let's do it again. Yarn over twice. It's going, we're not going through that one. We're going down to the row before. Grabbing a stitch, going through two, going through two, going through two, skipping that stitch there, going to the next one, and we're doing four half double crochets along our row. Two, three, and four. Okay, we're gonna do it again, just because I really wanted you to get a hang of it, and it's a bit tricky. Yarn over twice. Go into the previous row right underneath the stitch you're working for. Yarn over, pull through, go through two loops, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. Skip that stitch. Going into the back loop only, go in the next stitch for four half double crochets. Two. Three, 
three and four. We're going to do it again. Yarn over twice. Go to the previous row in that front loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, skip that. Go into the next one. And we're doing our half double crochet and we're gonna do that four stitch work. Three and four. See what's happening here? That looks kind of snazzy, doesn't it? Oh gosh, I'm excited. Okay, yarn over twice. Don't go into that stitch that you should go into. Go into the one below it, that front loop we skipped. Then yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over two loops. Yarn over two loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. So you're skipping that one. And we'll do our half double crochet four times. Two, three, and four. Four. We're on our fifth one and it's also the end of our row. Yarn over twice. Go into that stitch that you miss or th from the previous row. Yarn over, go through two loops, two loops, two loops. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top with our new color. And this is why it's scrap yarn, because you're just going to be using a whole bunch of different colors. I'm going to stick to four colors, but if you want to, maybe I'll go five. Maybe I'll go grab a blue. I think a blue will look good. Okay, then chain up two. Make sure these are tight. Snip your yarn so it's not in your way. Tie a little knot. Okay, to the start the last row, we did four, we did four half double crochets, right? This time we're gonna do three. So, yarn over, one, and we're only going in those back loops. Two, three, now, we're going yarn over twice and we're going into this stitch from the previous row, which is one over from the one we did before. Okay, and now we'll go back to four stitches. So you started with three, now we're gonna go four, but we're gonna skip that one. We're gonna do half double, one, two, Three, four, we're going to yarn over twice, we're going to follow this down, we're going to go into this one, do our triple, and then we're going to go one, two, Three, four, and you see what we're getting here? It's right beside, and look at how neat it looks. I love it. Okay, so we'll do it again. Yarn over twice, going into this stitch. We're going to do our triple. We're going to do our half in back stitch only. One. two, three, four. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Okay, yarn over twice. Can you tell I've never made this dog sweater before? We're just learning it together. Making it up as I go. This is actually a blanket stitch 
that I saw on Pinterest. I will put the link in the description for the blanket. Oops, why am I doing doubles? Don't do doubles. Say, Monique, do your halves. <laughs> um, and the pattern for the blanket is a bit different, but if you have been following me, you know that I never do a pattern exactly the way it's supposed to be done. So it's like me and my cooking. And that's what we've got so far. Okay, so yarn over twice. Go into that. And you're starting to see where you have to go before you even have to go there, right? At least I am. And if you are a pretty regular crocheter, you'll see what I mean. And then just those back loops. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm going to let you finish off this row and then meet me back. We'll switch color and I'll show you how to start the next row. Okay, so I'm back and my last stitch was a half double crochet, okay? So now we're going into the top of that chain two and I decided I'm not gonna do a blue. I'm gonna just do yellow next. Okay, so do your slip stitch and you chain up your two. Then we're gonna snip the red or whatever color you're using. Tie a bit of a knot. Okay. And now, okay, so we did three last time. So this time we're gonna do two half double crochet outs, okay? So. One, two, and then yarn over twice, go into that stitch from the previous row, the loop. Okay, and then we're going to do four. One, two, three, whoops. Four, and then over twice into that loop and I don't know if you can see it but now I'm starting to know where I need to go with that because I can see it and then you go into there one two three Four. Okay, so here's what the pattern is. On your starting, you started off doing four, then you did three, sorry, you did four, and then you did your long one, then you did three in your long one, two your long one, your next one will be one and your long one, and then you go into your fours. Okay, so we're going to do this for 12 rows. So once down to one and then your first stitch will be the long stitch and then you'll be going back to four, right? So Let's work this up. We're going to work it up for 12 rows, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five rows so far. We're going to do a total of 12 rows. And just keep doing this. Um, watch ahead a bit, and if there's any kind of glitch, I'll come back and tell you um, what it is. But so far, just remember that when you started capturing with the long stitch, it was four, then it was three, then it's two, then it'll be one, then it'll be zero, and then it'll be four again, okay? So if you wanna keep a little scrap piece of paper and jot that down, but I'm noticing that, you know, I'm like, okay, I want this to lay beside, so I've gotta grab this stitch, right? 
So you keep doing that. We're going to do our 12 rows and we meet back unless I find a glitch and then I'll come back to you and tell you what I did to fix that glitch. Great. And if you haven't had a chance, hit the like and subscribe. And to get notifications of other videos I do, you want to hit the little bell. So you keep going and meet me back when you've got 12 rows. Hi. I ended off with that double, sorry, triple crochet. And then I did my slip stitch. So now I'm going to chain up two. Now we're still going to continue working in the back loops. But now we're going to form the back, the armholes, and the neck. Now the pattern part, I'm only doing for the lower half. And then I'm just going to do the top half a solid yellow. But if you wanted to continue in the pattern, <clears throat> by all means, go ahead. Um, but just to keep this um, kind of simple, because we already have a trezillion um, threads to hide, I'm just going to finish it off in yellow. So now we're going to still working in the back loops. We're going to count out 20 half double crochets. So one, two, Three, <clears throat> four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, <clears throat> 17, 18, 19 and 20. We're going to chain up two, one, two, and then now for our next row, we're even though we turned our work, we're still going to just work in the back loops and it'll give us uh, another kind of pattern to look at. Okay, so we're going to do 20 back and forth, and we're going to do this for six rows. So you go ahead, meet me back when you've done six rows. Okie dokie, so I just did my last stitch. So now what I'm going to do, so I've got 10 in this top row. We are going to go over to this chain two here. We're going to go in the top stitch of the chain two. Okay, and we're going to slip stitch there. Okay, and then we're just going to make a big loop. We're going to go back to that one that we just did very gently. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to undo it. And then we're going to go into the top of the chain two. Okay. We are going to do a slip stitch. And now we're going to pull the tail through that loop and pull tight. But see what we've done here is we've just made the hole on that side and made the hole on this side. Okay. So now we're on this side. We are going to chain up two, back loop only, and we're going to do 30 half um, double crochets around, and we're going to do three rows, and then we'll fasten off. So back loops only, and it's not going to quite be the same as this, but it'll still be interesting. I, I just love this. <laughs> I love this dog sweater. Okay, 
Three rows. Back loops only. Meet me back. Okay, so now I've done my last stitch and I'm just going to slip stitch into that top of the chain two from the beginning of the row. Okay. I'm going to leave a tail, a bit of a tail, not very long. Pull this tight. Now you have your completed dog sweater. All you have to do now is um, hide all those trillion threads in there um, and hide your few, oh, your one at the neck, one at the leg, one at the start. And there you go. So if you wanted to, you could put an embellishment on here. If you didn't want the ridging like I did for my design, then you wouldn't go in the black, the back loops, you would go solid. So you would go through the two loops and then you could do an applique or buttons or whatever you may desire. And there we go. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. This is a dog sweater that'll fit a Chihuahua or for my case, I have a Yorkie Shih Tzu. Um, yeah those threads and I would love to see your creations so I will put a link in the comments for my Facebook page you can go there and you can show me what you've made with this pattern thanks so much for watching have a great day talk to you later bye now